with Jay Coughlin Jr., one of the hottest drag racers here in Pro Stock. Um, talking uh, 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 drag racing, obviously with uh, Norwalk, Summit Motorsports Park uh, Nationals this weekend. Uh, this is a familiar track for you, familiar in a lot of ways. Uh, we're gonna talk about several things. One about the track and two about the family. I mean, you guys are pretty familiar with all of this, right? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I've been made a lot of great memories here uh, <laughs> In Nor at Norwalk Raceway Park or Summit Motorsports Park and uh, as a kid growing up uh, watching my brothers race and right. later uh, behind the wheel myself and now uh, here supporting my family and also racing myself so uh, your wife's racing too right she is right yeah she's uh, got a lead foot <laughs> she doesn't put it anywhere it doesn't belong right <laughs> well no hopefully not that I, I stay on good behavior right there you go <laughs> Um, talk about that with families. I mean, not just Coglin, uh, Kalitas, uh, yeah. Forces. It's really a family-oriented sport with a lot of the things, a lot of different disciplines. Uh, like you say, your wife is here in Pro Comp. You're in Pro Stock. Yeah. Uh, you know, just just talk a little bit about how that works out. How do you work through that as a family? Uh, how does it make it good, bad, and different? Well, it's, it's fantastic, really. Uh, you know, I grew up youngest of four. Uh, my father, Jeg, raced in, in top fuel back in the day. The four of us got to work on the cars. Right. Later, as we grew uh, you know, to driving age and, and racing age, uh, uh, my brother started racing. Uh, things just kind of linear path uh, made their way that way. So, but as, as you mentioned, there's a lot of families in, in the sport of drag racing. And that's one thing that makes it very special. Not only uh, you know, are there a lot of named families like you mentioned? Mm -hmm. But you know, this this organization is like, kind of like one big family that travels travels the it, country. It's a traveling circus. Twenty no four races a year. So, uh, and this is one one stop of the many on, on the on our Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series. So, uh, you know, it's it's fun to be with family. Give us a little inside story. What what is it with yellow and jigs? Well, that that has to uh, come from my father. Uh, you know, back in the, I think the seventies. He and his dad were talking about uh, colors at speed, mm -hmm. and uh, in one of the Lazarus companies that my my grandfather, where he worked, mm -hmm. uh, had a relationship with a media group out of New York, and uh, they mentioned that yellow and black, particularly uh, mm -hmm. black on yellow, uh, right. were the two best colors at speed. So uh, my father uh, transitioned the Jegs name and the Jegs brand to. Uh, yellow with uh, the black jegs and, and uh, it's stuck that way ever since probably the mid 70s. Talk a little bit about the about the track here. The Bader family's always been a very first class organization uh, not only for the on track amenities for the race cars mm -hmm. you know here we are this weekend uh, for, for this event and we've got a brand new racing surface from the burnout box clear past the scoreboards and uh, all concrete which is ideal for drag racing and uh, and that's wonderful off the racetrack there are amenities with with the food and beverage and the, right. the, and the hospitality items uh, things like the restrooms are very very nice as well so uh, they've always done things first class it's made it made it nice for the fans to come like myself when I'm watching and it's made it great for a racer like myself when I'm here racing now fans can get in as early as seven o'clock you get here early too. Kind of give us your race day, your your work day, yeah. so to speak. Well, they, it changes uh, throughout the weekend a little bit. Uh, in, in Pro Stock, we have two qualifying runs Friday, two Saturday, and then our race day mm -hmm. or game day, as we call it, uh, is Sunday, starting at 11 o'clock. So, uh, but a typical day is, uh, you know, I, I stay here at the at the racetrack uh, in a motor coach, and so uh, things are fairly quiet, which is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, not a whole lot of traffic to get through, but. Uh, yeah, a typical day starts at probably 7, 7.30 in the morning doing some work Working emails. with the wife, Carla? Yeah, well, working, doing some work emails first, and then uh, and then as we start the racing part of the day, uh, we'll, we'll start looking at the atmospheric conditions to see uh, mm -hmm. where we need to place this car for, for its next run. 